Come here, you. Ugh. Oh, I got you. <laughs> I've got an Orion. Yep. That's my baby boy right here. Say hi, Ryan. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you all so much for tuning in. So, this is going to be your general energy reading for your day, yes, uh, or your moment, yeah. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. <clears throat> also, this is a timeless reading, yes, so just because it's coming out today, it's the message that's coming out in this moment, doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at this time. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that's, well, whenever you're guided to watch this reading, then that's most likely the message for you in that moment, even though it may not necessarily fit or make sense right away. Yes, please keep that in mind. So, happy Thursday. Yes, it is my birthday. Yay, as of 209, p.m. I will be 34 kids. 34 going on 16. <laughs> no, not really, but like whatever. Um, so yay. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, I hope you're having a good week. So yesterday, um, yeah, there was, the message literally did not come through yesterday. Like I, I, I sat down and, you know, I started the video and everything and I went through the whole process and I pulled, I did the shuffle and I pulled the cards and I was sitting there looking at the cards and literally it was just blank. Nothing was coming through. Um, so I figured that was, we just needed to chill. We needed to rest and relax yesterday, which was fine. Um, we did cross through the 555 portal, um, which is an ongoing thing. This is not something that's going to, like I said yesterday in, in the um, in the community post, this is not something that's going to happen overnight. You know, as anything, this is a shift that's going to take time to move through and everything. But it's more, look, think of it more of like an activation point, um, a, 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 a spot or a point in which, you know, things can get started underway. Transformations can get underway. All right. So, it's going to take time. Even though, yes, time is an illusion, it, it, it doesn't happen overnight, just like that, right? All right, kids. Um, so, yeah, let's get into today's message. Keeping it cute with the vice versa tarot. And then we're going to be using the witch's tarot for uh, clarity. And then oracle guidance will cross that bridge when we get there. Yeah? All right, y'all, let's get into this and see what we've got for today. Here we go. <clears> Hi, <throat> spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of the situations, situationships, romances, relationships, circumstances, and places in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, guys, <clears throat> let's do it. Five shuffles here. One. This is two. Three. Alrighty, y'all. Let's see what's going on for the collective right now. What messages do we have for the collective at this moment? 
Okay, overall energy, we are starting off with the Ten of Wands, and then at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Four of Cups. Now, there is an energy here for the collective right now of, this is similar to the fight or flight video or reading that I did two days ago. So um, if you haven't had a chance to watch that yet, or if this is going to, if ultimately, if this ends up resonating for you, you might want to check out that video, that reading. It is in the morning coffee playlist that you can find on my channel. Oh, speaking of which, um, happy hour from Tuesday was deleted from my channel. I don't know why. Uh, it was there when I woke up yesterday morning. It was there when I posted in the community page. Like, and then like right after that, it disappeared. I don't know why that happened. I don't really like the fact that that happened because there were a lot of really good messages that came through for the collective in that reading. I mean, I remember what they are. We can talk about it later. Um, and I think it was, it definitely was connected to the collective reading that I did on uh, Instagram before happy hour. But like, I don't know what happened with that. That reading was trashed and I don't know why. But anyway, this, what's coming through right here right now does feel like it's connected to, or it's a similar message or a continuation of the message from uh, morning coffee that day on Tuesday, which was fight or flight. Um, we have the Knight of Swords here, and the Knight, it looks like the Knight of Swords is charging at someone. Now, now, there are two sides to this card. As you can see, I'm using the vice versa deck. This is the opposite side of the card, which looks a little dark and dismal. This is the side of the card that came out. And it's a brighter scene. Um, there are a bunch of birds here on the card, which can symbolize wisdom, higher awareness, uh, communication also. Um, but it feels like there is there is a, a pretty aggressive energy in in this that we're talking about here right now. This is cup. This Knight of Swords is coupled with a but with all other Swords cards. You have the Five of Swords, which is in reverse. You have the Three of Swords, which is also in reverse. And then you have the Eight of Swords, which is upright. It feels like this is this is the type of energy in which it feels like someone is like backed into a corner or they're backed up against the wall. And, um, you know, like, like not to say that you're a dog or anything, but like if, if, if you put a dog in a position in which, you know, it's cornered and um, it feels threatened, it's going to lash out. It's going to lunge at somebody. It's going to jump at somebody. It's going to try to bite. It's going to try and get itself out of that corner. It feels like somebody here is backed into a corner. Um, and with the Five of Swords and the Three of Swords in reverse here, in some cases, being it being in reverse can talk about a release of that energy, it not being an effect on you in the situation any longer. However, in this situation, this reversal feels like a blockage, if, especially, especially coupled with the Eight of Swords here, okay? It feels like somebody here is... First of all, it feels like you're under attack by other people. That's what I'm getting from this Five of Swords energy, or at least you feel like you're under attack here. And it also could be a situation in which um, something is seriously being triggered for you. Now, here's the, here's the silver lining, though, because instead of using this Knight of Swords energy to fight back or get back at somebody for what they perceive, what they have, what you perceive they have done to you or what they may have actually done to you or something like that instead of using this five of swords energy to fight back you can in fact use this five of swords energy i'm sorry knight of swords energy to cut yourself free but in order to do that it takes redirecting your i want to say your vantage point or your point of view or just redirecting that energy towards uh, finally, or really releasing this, whatever this is here, five of swords, three of swords, whatever it is. And this does feel like, it definitely does feel like other people are involved here with this five of swords energy, okay? Um, but this also could be a situation in which something from your past or something from your childhood is seriously being triggered in this situation. 
And again, you have the ability to cut yourself free from it if you were to allow yourself to use this aggressive Knight of Swords energy to direct it at the real problem and not at the other people around you. Because like the other people around you, you can't really control that. Um, and also, I kind of feel like this is a, a triggering situation in which you have the opportunity to really heal, to really deal with something, because you've been carrying something for a long time. Ten of Wands, okay? And then with this Four of Cups energy, um, I mean, the Four of Cups energy, it feels like it fits in here. It's just I'm having, I'm having a little bit of trouble translating that energy into what it really like into words um the four of cups energy just kind of feels like your emotional state the state that you've been in that is somewhat separate from this situation and it feels like this four of cups energy which is boredom apathy um feeling unfulfilled stuff like that uh that's the energetic state that you've been in that's only helping to exacerbate the situation. I really just feel like whatever is going on here, um, you have an express opportunity to really get yourself out of some sort of entrenched energy. Like getting yourself out of some sort of stuck place. It feels like the universe is, is, is using whatever this situation is for you. It's using this situation to jar you out of some sort of sense of apathy or um, feeling misguided or maybe even feeling abandoned or um, uh, just pushed aside is I guess what I want to say. And actually that, actually, that fits quite well, that the, the phrase of feeling like you've been pushed or brushed aside or pushed aside or like you're devalued or you're not, I'm hearing you're not welcome, you're feeling these way, that you're feeling this way. And now something has come up, something has happened that has triggered, triggered something within you, whether it's uh, directly related to this situation specifically or if it's just like somebody caught you at a bad time and now you know, and some shit went down and now you're on edge or you're feeling aggressive or you're feeling defensive, you're feeling like you want to fight back. Instead of fighting back and getting back at those people or getting fighting back in the situation, instead, I really want to say, use the aggression that you may be feeling to cut yourself free from this, okay? Finally cut yourself free from this. And actually, as I was picking this up, I want this... The card wanted to like flip over and go to this side which is in which you have the side where somebody this woman you see she's very loosely tied there and with that eagle at the top of the card the eagle can represent a high vantage point a higher point of view higher awareness and all that and it's that higher awareness higher point vantage point higher point of view or maybe even the higher road here, taking that higher road can actually help free you from this once and for all. But you see, in order for you to turn this situation around and use it to your advantage and use it to break yourself free, you are going to have to consciously choose to not, to not fight back in a way that is destructive towards other people. Okay, fine, there is a destructive energy around. But try and use it to your advantage. Instead of, you again, instead of using it to destroy or to hurt or to get back at other people, use it to really to destroy whatever burden it is you're carrying, okay? That has caused you to feel this way or caused you to be in this energetic space to begin with, all right? Let's, let's pull a little more from this from this deck just to see what we get to continue the story here and then we'll start clarifying some things what else is going on in this situation please spirit anything else that you want to say in terms of this situation More swords, you guys. Wow. Okay. 
So at the bottom of the, or, I'm sorry, not the bottom, the overall energy now is the Two of Swords here. On the other side, however, is the Hermit. Not the Hermit, yes, the Hermit. And then two other cards have come out here. The Six to the Seven of Swords. All kinds of swords here, you guys. Literally all of the cards that have come in out, that have come in out, that have come out and fallen on the table, they're all swords. Every single one of them. Three of swords and five of swords in reverse. Eight of swords, the knight of swords, the six of, and the seven of swords. You know what's interesting though? We do have a progression here. Hi, Jinx. We have the five to the six to the seven, to the eight, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so to me, you know, we have, we have even more of a progression because at the overall energy is the two of swords, then we have the three of swords. The only thing we're missing is the four of swords. And that's significant. Because we're talk what we're talking about here is not use is using this aggression or using this aggressive energy to your advantage. But in order for you to do that, you are going to need to consciously choose to not fight back in the way that your ego may be influencing you to. To not fight back or not get back at somebody and be vindictive or spiteful because you're upset, because you're hurt, because you're angry. Like I understand. You're upset, you're hurt, you're angry, and you have a very good reason to. I'm very, I'm sure of that, okay? Ultimately, I'm sure you have a good reason to be upset. However, it is your choice of what to do with that energy. You can either use it to get back at somebody to hurt them, or you can use it to change your situation for your own good, right? But that is going to take the energy that's missing here, the Four of Swords. That's going to take you taking time, setting, sitting back or sitting down and like calming yourself in a way. But now look, see, and, and what the overall energy is saying here with the two of swords, especially this side of the card, the two of swords, but then the hermit also, this is about literally turning your back and not focusing externally on what's going on here focusing internally okay again this is a situation in which you have the ability to 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 choose you have the ability to choose to free yourself from this somehow and i'm not saying that you're just going to be able to snap your fingers and everything will be better no it's obviously it's going to take some time anything just like anything it's a process right especially when it comes to healing um but you can at least get the ball rolling here I feel like this could be a situation for you where you can sit down with yourself and look at the, look yourself straight in the face, look yourself straight in the eye, look, your, look in the mirror and talk to yourself and be like, look, we've got to handle this. Let's finally do something about this. Yeah. Okay. Let's get some clarity. Well, wait, actually, before we do that. Let's talk about this. Six, in the, six, six to the seven of swords. Um, I, what, what I feel like this is saying here is this is you moving away from a deceptive energy. Okay? And this might be a situation, what I'm getting from the seven of swords here is this might have been a situation in which you needed to act in secret or do some things that maybe you're not proud of just to survive the situation but it no longer has to be this way you can move away from this you can move from rough waters to calmer waters but the biggest thing that i'm getting from this is that it is a conscious choice you have to take the higher road here you have to be the bigger person and i know a lot there are some times where it's like we really don't want to hear that. Well, why do I have to be the bigger person? Or why do I always have to be the bigger person? This, that, and the third. And I mean, I get it. I get it. But, but think about it this way. Is it really worth the struggle? Is it really worth the battle? Is it really worth the potential damage that or harm that you could do to yourself? 
Uh, is, is it worth making the situation worse? Like, is that worth it? Or is it better to just take the high road and do what it is you need to do to, for a better situation for yourself? I mean, does that does that take away from, you know, other people's involvement here? Because I do feel like other people are involved in this situation. But does it take away from, like, their the role that they've played in it? No, absolutely not. Does that make it okay? No, it absolutely not. Is that an excuse? Absolutely not. No fucking way. But at the same time, who is this really hurting here? And who do you, who who of all the people in this situation, who do you actually have control over? Your own self, right? So why not do this for you? Why not take the higher road? Why not be the bigger person? Why not be the better person for your own sake? Not for the sake of others. You're not doing this for them. You're doing this to get yourself out of a shitty situation. A situation in which you probably had to act in ways that maybe you're not the most proud of. But, it, but at the moment, you made that decision to protect yourself. Well, now you're being provided with an opportunity to protect yourself, yes, but to do it in a better way. Do it in a way that's not so destructive of like yourself and, and the situation, but instead, if, the, if anything is going to be destroyed here, it's whatever is keeping you chained, locked up, or whatever you feel is keeping you chained or locked up. And a lot of that could, ha a lot of that could be within your head, within your mind, okay? The Eight of Swords energy is a, a representation of a sort of mental prison, right? Swords are the mind. Swords are, swords are communication. Swords are the are, are your mind and your thinking process, right? So maybe a lot of it is in uh, is in your head, but don't let that trigger you either. I'm not trying to say, oh, you're crazy. It's all in your head. No, no. There's a reason why this has come up or why this has developed into the way that it has. But you're going to need to be the one to take the steps to look at it and figure it out for yourself and figure out how you're gonna get yourself out of here instead of constantly trying to fight back. Ooh, I just heard upping the ante. Yeah, you don't wanna do that, but okay. Total sidebar, you know what I just saw here? You remember that song from the 80s? Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. <laughs> I looked down at this and I saw eight, six, seven, and as soon as I saw that, I heard I heard the song in my head. Anyway, sorry, not to like distract, but I wanted to lighten the mood a little bit. All right. Okay, now let's get into some clarity here. Uh, five shuffles. One. Two. start with the five of swords here in reverse what's going on with this five of swords energy please spirit okay um, you have the Seven of Swords again, and you have it with the Page of Pentacles. Uh, at the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Swords, to the Ace of Wands, to the Ten of Swords, to the Five of Wands. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is it feels like, it actually does feel like you want to, you don't want to be a part of this anymore. You don't want to be involved with this anymore. You don't want to be in this mindset anymore. You don't want to be in this environment anymore. Something like that. It feels like... It, it feels like you may actually even be taking steps to release yourself from a situation here. And I'm getting that from the Queen of Swords. I'm getting that from the Queen of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. 
Either this is a situation in which you have been trying to move on or set yourself free or or you need to. OK, this this page of pentacles is representing a new start, a new beginning, a new reality. Um, I for some reason, I just heard the terms of a new relationship. OK, but something is keeping you from going towards that, from realizing that, from actualizing that, from putting that into action, putting that plan into action. And I feel like it's the involvement of other people that is keeping you stuck here or is keeping you from from moving forward in this direction or starting this new reality or something here. So you're either trying to get yourself out of this or you need to. Queen of Swords, cut yourself free from this and follow the inspiration that you're feeling here. Ace of Wands. And that inspiration could be nothing other than just putting this situation to rest. Ten of Swords. And yet here's this Five of Wands energy. More involvement from other people. That may see an opportunity in front of you. See this opportunity that you have. Or maybe you're, you've been communicating this opportunity to them. Ace of Pentacles. But they're only tr working on... They're only helping to make you feel less than feel at inadequate. There could be a sense of poverty consciousness that these individuals surrounding you are acting from and that's why they're giving you such a hard time or reading you the riot act in terms of what it is you're trying to do here or what where it is you're trying to go. And that's another, none other than the devil and conformity. The shadow side or the devil with the hierophant. And then we're back to the five of swords again. Okay? But then... Underneath the Five of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, to the Six of Wands, to the Fool, to the Tower, to the Queen of Motherfucking Pentacles. Y'all, check it out, okay? You have the abundance. You have the ability. You need to honor your self-worth here, Queen of Pentacles, and tear this shit down for once and for all, Okay? And no, I don't mean tear those other people down. I mean tear this shit down. Whatever this tower is, whatever this structure is, whatever this situation or circumstances is, it is. it needs to end. It needs to stop. You need to just go ahead and take your leap of faith, the fool, because you are going to be victory. Vi you are going to be victory. You are going to be victorious. And I, and I bet you, I, I, yo, I bet you, that when you actually go ahead and do whatever it is you feel inspired to do, do whatever it is your soul is calling you to do, you are going to be successful. And all those motherfuckers that are around there that were trying to tell you that you couldn't or, or this, that, and the third are going to be speechless. Jaws on the fucking ground, dude. See, you've completed this lesson. But what's only helping to exacerbate the situation for you? Five of Swords here. Where is it? Is the fact that, and, 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 and this is the part of the situation that's probably going to be the hardest for you to take because this is the part of the, this is the moment or this is the part of the situation in which now you have to take responsibility. We could sit here and, and, and chicken neck and, and, and key key and gossip and, and this, that, and the third about how shitty or how, how, how terrible this situation is or how shitty these people are. But ultimately, you are the one that's responsible for your own reality. And what's only exacerbating this situation here is this Five of Swords energy. For some reason, somebody just keeps sticking around. And that's only making situations worse. Or either you, somebody is just sticking around or someone is still just trying to stick it out or still be involved in this somehow. And it's causing resentment. And that's why we have this Knight of Swords energy, this really aggressive energy here. That's why we have a situation in which somebody feels like they're backed up against a wall. You've completed this lesson. You've completed this circumstance. It's time to let yourself go from this. It's time to free yourself from this. Ten of Swords. All right? I can't tell if I want to look at the Eight of Swords or the Knight of Swords. Actually, 
I feel, let's look at the Eight of Swords. I do feel like in looking at the Eight of Swords, we're going to get an understanding of this Knight of Swords energy a little bit more. So let's talk specifically about the structure or whatever this part of the reality that you're experiencing that feels like you're, you're keeping you blocked or whatever. Yeah, Eight of Swords. What's the Eight of Swords here? What's the Eight of Swords, please, Spirit? Interesting. We have two eights. And you know what's funny? When I started doing the clarity for this reading, um, I did look at the bottom of the deck when I was pulling the clarity for the five of swords here. And the eight of wands was at the bottom, but it wasn't relevant at the time. Well, it's come back out. You have the eight of wands here and you have the hanged man. But you also at the bottom of the deck, you have the eight of pentacles with the sun. And the, and the world, and temperance, ah, 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 and the four of swords. Look at that. All right, so check it out. Uh, I can't really tell if the eight of pentacles here is representing work you've already done or it's representing work you still need to do. Now, this eight of pentacles could also represent an energy in which you have, you are inspired to do something, right? You're inspired to move in a specific direction and it's going to take... A, a, a decent amount of conscious, consistent effort to get yourself there. And this could be the reason why there are naysayers around you saying it's not worth it. You can't do that. You're not capable of that. You're not good enough. You're never going to succeed. This, that, and the third, blah, 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 whoop de whoop and all that bullshit, right? However, the saving grace here and clarity or, 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 or confirmation in terms of the fact that you've completed this lesson, you've learned what it is you needed to learn here. The hanged man. The hanged man with the eight of wands. So what this is saying to me here is you have the clarity that you need to let yourself free from this. So this eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck overall could represent the work that you've done up until this point to get you to this sense of clarity. Eight of pentacles to the sun, to the world. This is completion. It feels like you've done the work that it was necessary to complete this lesson or complete this cycle. Okay, so this could be part of the reason why we have this Knight of Swords energy and why there is so much aggression here. Because literally, at this point, this is on you, the Hermit. And it's interesting because it's this side of the Hermit now. Well, it was actually, it was always this side of the Hermit. But in this side of the Hermit, to me, this talks about you having found the light within and now proceeding forward with how that light is guiding you to move. So at this point, and I, I mean, look, I am not trying to be condescending. I'm not trying to come down on you. I'm not trying to, I am definitely not judging you here, okay? Because I've been in this type of situation before. Regardless as to whether I've been in this type of situation before or not, it would not be appropriate for me to judge. And so I'm not judging you here. Okay, but what this feels like is at this point, it's on you. You have found the light within. You have found, you have gone on your self-discovery journey that has been required for this situation. Okay, you, I, I do feel like you found clarity and yet for some reason you're still allowing the people around you who are misguided in their own way, you're allowing them to influence you here. When what it seems or what it feels like here is you have the clarity within to move forward in your chosen desired direction. You don't need anybody else's approval. Maybe you're, and this is interesting because now this is kind of Relating back to the Instagram live session that I did on Tuesday, which I am planning on putting up on um, on YouTube this weekend. 
I mean, today and tomorrow, I don't know what's going to happen today and tomorrow, you guys. But like, uh, so. And in that Instagram live reading, I was talking about how somebody has found the clarity that they need to move forward because they finally realized that they don't need anybody else's approval to identify what happiness is for them. And yet now in this situation, I feel like we're talking to somebody that has found a greater sense of clarity within and yet for some reason is still focusing on the approval of others. You don't need anybody else's approval. But that's what's pulling this situation on your shoulders now. And that and the only reason, the only reason we're saying this to you like this right now is because you have the clarity within. You know exactly what it is is going on here. You know exactly what it is is happening and happening in the situation and what has been happening in the situation up until now. And so now there because of that awareness, see this is one of those this is one of those situations in which the sun is one of the most beautiful and optimistic cards in the deck, but it can still burn you. And this is one of those situations in which is it, it, it is so completely true that awareness, truth, and clarity is a double-edged sword. Because it's one thing to be naive in a situation, and nobody is judging you for that. Because you can't, you can't be expected to come into this world and just know everything like that. No, we came here to learn. Okay, fine. So at one, so so so, it's one thing to go into a situation and just not have the awareness, or just not and be, for lack of a better word or lack of a better term, be and be naive. But then, as you go through that situation, you start to learn that. That naivete, naivete, that it, it, it tends to fade because you're learning about the situation. And then once you've got the awareness, once you've learned the lesson, the choice is yours what you're going to do with it. Are you going to still act in those same ways? Or are you going to take what you've learned and put it into practice? But see, that's your responsibility. And that's where this falls on your shoulders. Because now at this point, you're too... Lord help me, are we really about to say this right now? At this point, you're too woke. You're too woke. To sit here and play this game like, oh, I didn't know. Bullshit. Come on. You didn't know? You mean to tell me you haven't learned anything here? Come on now, honey. Right? And I say this with all the love in the world, y'all. But this is why it falls on your shoulders now. The hermit. Okay. And yes, it, it, yeah, you're going to have to walk alone in this situation. Homeboy, homegirl, the crew, the posse, they ain't coming with you. And you know they're not coming with you because they're putting up this fight. Right? So, again, use this aggression to cut yourself free instead of cutting other people down. Okay? Woo! All right. Oracle Guidance. And look, look, y'all know me by now, okay? This is some shit I say to myself all the time. Like, I, I really, I say this with all the love in the world, okay? I'm your friend. I'm here to help you. And I'm not here to sugarcoat things. Like, I say this shit all the time, and y'all know me for long enough now. I mean, I, th there aren't that many new people, and if you're that new, you probably get it by now, right? But I'm not here to sugarcoat things. Okay, I'm here to give you the, the real deal. <laughs> I'm here to help. <laughs> Where is our oracle guidance coming from? We need something uplifting. Gaia. Yes, the Gaia oracle. I just heard the jokes on you. At this point, joke's on you. That stings, doesn't it? And that's why somebody is so fucking angry. Yeah, well, you have a right to be angry. Okay? You have a right to be angry. But now, the question is, what are you going to do with that anger? Because quite frankly, 
If you want it, okay, let's look at it this way. You have the right to use that, use this anger and aggression to your advantage. Stop giving your power away to people that are only trying to push your buttons. Yeah? Five shuffles. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Alrighty, kids. Whoa. We're gonna get two Oracle cards today. Okay. All right, so we have two cards. Uh, one card fell out immediately, but what I'm feeling like here is this is a loving, encouraging message that somebody needs. And it's card number 29, thinking of you, a loving thought, serendipity. And two and nine does boil down to an 11. Now, the other card, I wanted to get just, I wanted to get another card, okay? Uh, it's card number 34, which boils down to a seven. Hidden path, the marriage of spirit and matter. Let's read this one first. You have traveled far in search of greater meaning and fulfillment, having made much progress and learning valuable lessons. You want to continue your journey, but the road seems to have come to an end. Where do you go from here? The symbolic imagery on this card is set within a magical forest. It seems inviting, yet the way forward is not clear. No physical path exists. However, there is a way forward. Between the trees is a symbol for eternal life and to the right, a symbol for healing and protection. This card is inviting you to move forward spiritually and offers you healing and protection along the way. Spirit and matter must now merge if true progress is to be made. Your rational mind must align with your heart. When heart and mind are both focused on the same goal, great things are possible. This is true spiritual alchemy. All your work towards can now, all, all you work towards can now be achieved. Let me say that last sentence again. This is true spiritual alchemy. All you work towards can now be achieved. Okay. Final message here, card number 29, thinking of you. And this is going to sound real woo-woo and out there, but I just get this feeling that this is a message of love from a potential partner in the future. Y'all know I'm not here to like spread any false narratives or give anybody any false hope, but I'm legit picking it up, picking that up on this, well, picking that up from this card. Somebody needs to hear that. And in, in, in this situation for somebody here, it feels like you're, maybe you're in a marriage or, cause I did just hear that, or maybe you're just in a, in a relationship that's toxic. And you've been wanting to move forward. See now, okay, see now what I'm picking up on is a similar situation from when um, I was about to go through divorce. And I was feeling like I just wanted to move forward. But the narrative surrounding that was, well, what are you going to do? Where are you going to go? What are you going to, where are you going to work? Where are you going to live? This, that, and the third. And I was getting that from the people that I was living with. From like my ex and, and whatnot. From the two people that I was, yikes, I was getting that from the two people that I was literally living with. But the reason why they were saying that is not necessarily that they didn't care for me or anything. Like, sure, maybe some of that was coming from a place of like, they were legit concerned. But also there was an energy of not wanting to let me go. And so 
This card here feels like loving encouragement and a message from a potential partner that can't really come into your life right now because someone else is taking that space. Okay, so let's read this. This card is confirmation that someone you have been thinking of is also thinking of you. It may be someone who has passed away or a loving friend, family member, or a loved one. Our thoughts and feelings are energy frequencies or wavelengths that transcend space and time. We all transmit and receive information through our thoughts and feelings. It makes no difference whether someone is near or far, alive or has passed away. We are subconsciously in constant communication with those we think about and love. Having heard this, you probably imagine your thoughts traveling through space and time. However, in actuality, nothing really travels anywhere. This is because energetically or spiritually, there is no separation in the first place. We are all interconnected and ultimately one, eternally held within an ocean of divine love. The great cosmic ocean of life is as vast and endless as we can imagine it to be. And at the same time, it can be smaller than the smallest particle. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye! <laughs>